the Holy Spirit moves, 所以呢，每一次当圣灵运行的时候 ，He moves to restore sons and daughters back to Him. 他就是带我们恢复他的孩子、他的女儿回到天父的面前。And that means if you are born again, 这代表当我们重生得救的时候 ，the Holy Spirit, 圣灵 ，the Spirit from the Father， 从天父而来的灵 ，lives in you， 就住在我们里面。Let me ask you a question. 让我问大家一个问题。When you go to your dad and you begin and you talk to him, 当你来到爸爸的面前，你跟爸爸说话。You say, "Daddy, Daddy." 你说，爸爸，爸爸。If you have a good dad, 如果你有好的爸爸 ，Does he turn away and walk away? 他会不会不理你就转身离开了呢 ？No, no, 不会。He looks in your eyes. 他会看着你的眼睛。He says, "My son, my daughter." 他说，我的孩子，我的女儿。And you ask him a question. 然后呢，你就问他问你有什么问题吗 ？And he answers. 然后你问他一个问题，他就回答你。The Bible says, "If your fathers are evil, or your, the Bible says God is way better than your fathers." Ah,、uh, 圣经说我们的天父比我们的再生的父亲更好。If you ask your fathers for something good, 如果你向父亲求什么 ，they're not going to give you a bread or a stone. 他不会用石头啊，你求面包，他不会用石头给你。Or a snake or a stone. 然后呢，不会给你蛇蛇或蝎子。They're going to give you a good thing. 他会把最好的给你。How much more is your heavenly Father going to give you? What's the point? The point is, if you want to hear God's voice, you can hear God's voice. It's not a special gift. Prophecy is not a special gift. It's not reserved for leaders. You see, when you know who you are, it's so easy to hear His voice. Because you know that he loves you. And if he loves you, of course he's going to talk to you. Why wouldn't he talk to you? You see, he talks to the ones he loves. And that's you. So I just want to lay a foundation. So today, I want to lay a foundation that you all hear from God. 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 You've all heard his voice. We 每一个人听见神的声音 The only difference is learning to recognize his voice. 我们要啊，唯一一件事情就是我们要认识神的声音 And it's the voice of the Father. 就是从天父而来的声音 That means when God speaks. 就是一换一句话说，当神说话的时候 It's the voice of love. 他就是用爱来对我们说话 He never speaks to condemn you. 他不会来指指责我们 To shame you. 不会让你觉得羞愧 To um. To tell you everything you're doing wrong, 就不会告诉你说，哎，你做错了什么。He always comes to to encourage, to, 他来 to exhort, to uplift. 啊、uh, ，他来就是要来安慰我们，就是要来把我们给高举，把我们给抬举起来。And that's how we're changed into the image of Jesus. 这就是为什么耶稣的把他的形象。Does this make sense? 放在我们里面，大家明白吗 ？Does this make sense? Okay, one like one person on the front row. Okay, <laughs> maybe 只有一个人明白。<laughs> But you guys are going to experience this. 我们会经历这一些。And so,、uh, in First Corinthians, 在哥林多前书 Paul says, "I、uh, eagerly desire the spiritual gifts, especially that you may prophesy." 啊，我们要切慕啊，先知的恩赐啊，特啊，我们要切慕许多的恩赐，当然我们要切慕讲啊，说预言的恩赐 And again, all prophecy is it's hearing God's voice for another person. 啊，这个预言呢，就是你听见从神而来的声音，对着某一个人来说话 Okay, so.、Um, The the Bible clearly teaches that we are all learn meant to prophesy over each other. Oh, 圣经里面我们可以学习到我们要对啊对人来发预言 And as you learn to prophesy over each other, 当我们对人来发预言的时候 you begin to see each other the way that God sees them. 你就会开始用神的眼光来看对方 You see, um, I have many friends. 啊，我有很多的朋友 And there's two ways I can look at my friends. I can look at them in, the, in what the Bible calls the flesh. Ah, 我可以用肉体来啊肉眼来看他们 Who they, what they act like right now. Ah, 就是他们现在这个人到底是什么样的 Or I can choose to live in heaven. 或者我可以从属灵里面来看 And see the destiny over their life. 看到那一个人生命的命定 And call out the gold in them. 然后把他生命里面的命定给呼召出来。You may not be acting like who you really really are. 然后就会告诉他说，你不会再像现在你这个人的样子。But I see who God made you to be. 
And I'm going to speak it into existence. One of the first uh, prophecies that I got over myself. Someone came to me and said, Mitchell, you're a, you're a rock. They said, you're a pillar. You're going to be so strong in God. Let me tell you, at the time, I was anything but strong. At the time, I was anything but strong. I felt so weak. I felt so scared. My faith was very low. But you see, Jesus wasn't coming to tell me who I wasn't. He's telling me who I am. And so sometimes we feel one thing. And God is saying another thing. We have to learn to live by what God says. And not what we feel. And as we learn to walk in what he says, our feelings align with the truth. And then we begin to we, we begin to say about ourselves, you know what? I am strong. Uh, I am a man of faith. And then joy hits your heart. And, and faith springs up. And you begin to see yourself the way God sees you. Because of what someone spoke over you. Because of a simple word of prophecy. That, that came from someone who believed that God spoke to them. I'm telling you, learning to hear God's voice is probably the most important thing in your life. Alright, so uh, we're going to practice. Alright, um, there's, there's a lot of different ways God speaks. The ways He speaks are endless. Uh, but uh, this morning we're gonna um, we're gonna go after God speaking to us in, internally in, in our hearts. Okay. And you've you've watched us the past three or four days. You've seen how we prophesy. Okay, it's always encouraging. It's always lifting up. Okay, does that make sense? Alright, if, if you don't leave encouraged, I doubt that it's God's voice. Either that or you're misunderstanding what he, the heart of what he's saying. Okay, so um, I'm just going to list a few ways that God will speak to you in, in, internally. And this is, this is just so you can be aware of how he speaks. Because um, as you go as you go out on the streets today, you're going to be walking around and God's going to drop a word inside inside of you. And this is going to help you pay attention to how He speaks. Okay. So um, one of the one of the greatest ways God speaks is through your imagination. Uh, so just, just close your eyes. And I want you to imagine uh, a pink giraffe. Can you see it in your imagination? You see that picture? When your eyes are closed? That's the realm of your imagination. So many times God will put a picture inside your imagination. And it will be a, it will be a message for somebody. Like yesterday I was prophesying over someone. And I saw him playing soccer in my imagination. And I said, you're really good at soccer, aren't you? And he's like, yeah, he, he, yeah, he, he plays. Uh, his friends didn't, but he did. And it blessed him. It was, it was a word of knowledge about him. He felt loved. He felt... Um, he felt like God knew him. 
啊，他觉得爱，他感受到神的爱，因为他知道神爱他。So that's one way God speaks the realm of the imagination. 这就是神说话，透过我们的思想里面对我们来说话的。Number two, 第二种说话的方式。You can hear something. 啊，我们可以听到。You can actually hear a voice like speaking to you. 甚至你可以听到一些声音是对你说话的。And even a voice inside your heart. 甚至你心里面的声音。It's um, this one takes practice. Because there's so many voices that are talking to us, we have to discern which one is the Holy Spirit. We have to discern which one is the Holy Spirit. A couple keys to discern His voice. There are some key points we have to discern His voice. When He's speaking in your ear or He's speaking audible words. Even in your ears or in your heart, it's always the voice of peace. His voice is peace. It's always the voice of love. 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 And it's usually, it's it's like a still voice. It's a still voice. Ah, his voice is not going to make you feel disturbed. It's an intimate voice. It's a very intimate voice. But it carries so much power. 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 啊、uh, ，有一些人我们是用看见的，所以你的听见是透过你的看见来听的。Some of you are very um uh auditory learners, so you you hear his voice a lot. 啊，有一些人呢是你的耳朵非常的啊对属灵里面非常的敏感，所以你听见神的声音。And a third way that God speaks to you is through your is through a feeling. 啊，第三个神对我们说话的就是你的感受。A lot of you are are what we call um feelers. 啊，就是你可能是一个很很常感受的一个人。You can walk into a room, or you, or you walk by your friend. 甚至你走进一个房间，或者走到你朋友的身边。And you can feel their, what they're going through. 你可以感受到他正在经历的是什么。You can feel their depression. 你可以感受到他正在经历的压力。You can feel even their joy. 你更甚至可以感受到它里面的喜乐。Or you feel the spiritual atmosphere. 你甚至可以感受到这个属灵的氛围。Do you understand what I'm saying? 你们明白我说说的吗 ？Some of you don't even know your feelers, and you and it's giving you problems. 啊，有一些人甚至我们都没有感觉啊，所以就在给我们带来很大的问题。That's a topic for another day. 哦，所以就会给我们带来很大的影响。Just one example of this. 啊，给大家一个例证。A lot of times when I'm praying for people. 很多时候我为人祷告的时候。I'll just I feel something is weird. Oh, I feel that I, ah, I just, I, in me, just, 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 哦，但是他讲话是很正常，但是他里面有一些出来的东西是不正常的。And it was giving me confusion. It was making me angry, actually. 啊、哦，其 And I was, I, I was like, who is this guy? He's just making me angry. 哦，我说这个人到底是谁啊？为什么他会令到我非常的生气呢 ？And I tried giving him a nice, a nice encouraging word. 啊、哦，我就尝试要给他很好的安慰的话语。And it didn't work. 但是呢，没有效。I still felt angry at him. 我还是觉得很生气他。And I thought I was judging him. But the Lord showed me I wasn't judging him. He said he has a demon. He says I'm angry at the demon too. A fire came in my my belly. I'm praying for him and speaking in tongues. He came back up completely set free. He got filled with the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues, transformed his life. God filled with the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues, transformed his life. God filled with the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues, transformed his life. God filled with the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues, transformed his life. God filled with the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues, transformed his life. God filled with the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues, transformed his life. God filled with the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues, transformed his life. God filled with the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues, transformed his life. God filled with the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues, transformed his life. God filled with the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues, transformed his life. God filled with the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues, transformed his life. God filled with the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues, transformed his life. God filled with the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues, transformed his life. God filled with the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues, transformed his life. God filled with the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues, transformed his life. God filled with the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues, transformed his life. God filled with the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues, transformed his life. God filled with the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues, transformed his life. God filled with the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues, transformed his life. God filled with the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues, transformed his life. God filled with the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues, transformed his life. God filled with the Holy Spirit, Uh, just one more thing, very quickly. 还有一件事情是非常快的要跟大家说的。When you prophesy over someone, there may there may come this fear at you. 啊，当你对一个人发预言的时候，可能他里面的惧怕会啊，就是会彰显出来。In that moment, a line is drawn in the sand. 啊， a line is drawn in front of you. Okay. 就是呢，在那个时候呢，就是在你的地上就画成一个界限。And it comes down to this one thing. 就有一件东西。Who are you going to worship? 你要敬拜谁呢？ Who are you going to give your heart to? 
In that moment, the enemy is saying, fear, fear, fear. If you back down, you you give your, you you actually acknowledge the enemy. You you give him uh, you give him a place in your heart. It's it's actually worship. But if you say Jesus, I love you. And you love this person in front of you. And you take a risk, you cross the line. I'm telling you the pleasure of God is so strong for you. Even if, even if you mess up, he's going to be proud of you. He's going to be so pleased with you. Because you chose to worship him. Okay, so what I'm saying is don't let that fear speak to you. Don't respond to that voice. Respond to his voice. Okay. okay, so this is what I want to do. I want everyone to, to find a partner, just uh, two people, uh, teams of two. Okay, okay so go ahead, stand up. And find a partner. Turn, turn to your neighbor. Maybe find, maybe, um, maybe find someone you don't know so well. That would be good. Okay, and if, if, if you... Um, Three to a group at most, but try to do two. If if you can't find another person, then go ahead and join a group. Okay. Oh, so find someone, grab their hand, and and partner up with them. Right, I'll give you one minute to do that. Uh, I want everybody, I want everybody in a group. No, no lone rangers. No one by themselves. Okay. If you are not in a group, I want you to raise your hand high. If you are not in a group, raise your hand high. All right. Then I'm going to assume everyone's in a group. All right. So I want, um, I want you to just uh, face the person that you're, that you're with. Uh, if you're in a group of three, then, then you're gonna, um, then two people are going to prophesy over one person at a time. Okay, and you'll go around the circle, and I'm gonna lead you, so don't worry. Okay, so, this is, uh, so I want you to choose who's gonna go first. Choose the person who's going to receive the prophetic word and the person that's gonna give it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Are you guys in a group here? So, so, circle up. So, uh, maybe come right here. So, circle up. Alright, so once you've decided, this is what I want. Oh, some of you are already going. Well, praise God. That's awesome. Um, Alright, hold on. Stop. So, once you've decided, I want you to just close your eyes. Father, I thank you that you love us. Now I want you to ask God for a picture. You see, all this is, it's a conversation with God. He loves to talk to you. If you ask him for a picture, he's going to give you a picture. So just say, Jesus, give me a picture for this person to encourage them. And he's going to speak to you right away. I'll give you guys a second. Don't share it yet, just keep praying. Now, if you don't know what the picture means, ask him, Jesus, what does this mean? And he's going to tell you. 
It's really simple. 非常简单。I'll give you a couple more seconds. 再多几秒钟的时间。All right, and remember, it's encouraging, exhorting, uplifting. 要记得你的预言是安慰、造就、劝勉的。All right. 好。So now I want you to share with the person with you what you felt like God said to you. 现在你就开始跟对方来分享你所看见的图画，你所看见的意象是什么。All right. I'll give you a couple minutes and uh, 给大家一点的时间。Share with them. It's really simple. All right, I'll give you, uh, I'll give you about 45 seconds more. 还有四十五秒。All Alrighty, just begin to wrap it up. 好，可以了。I can hear you guys talking. That means it's going good, huh? 啊，看见你们说话就代表一切的进行都还不错。You're hearing God. 你们在听见神的声音。Alrighty. 好。Good job, good job. Alright, now. 做的非常好。Um, who received the prophetic word? Just raise your hand. Okay. Yeah, you you who was encouraged by that word? Who 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 felt like, wow, that's that was God? You see, 哪哪一个人觉得哇，这个话非常鼓励我的 ？See, so many people. It was it's almost everybody that that raised their hand. 你看，差不多每一个人都被神的话语鼓励了。See, that's it's so easy. 这是非常简单的。We just got to relax. 我们就是要让它持续的不断的运行。And now we're going to switch partners. 现在我们要换同伴。If you gave the word. Now you're going to receive it. 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 Now you're What's one word that describes this person? You need to give my colleague one word to describe this person. What is it? That you think about them. How do you look at them? And you're going to hear it in your ear or in your in your heart. We will hear it in our ears or in our heart. Just wait. Wait. Just relax. All right. Now we're going to talk about God. The Holy Spirit speaks to a relaxed heart. Ah, 圣灵，当我们放松的时候，圣灵就会对我们说话。So if you're having trouble hearing, 呃，所以如果我们在啊聆听上面有问题的话 ，just relax. 你就是单单的放松就好了。All right. Go ahead and share the word you got with your with your partner, and if maybe God gave you uh gave you more than a word, go ahead and just share it. Ah, 现在你开始分享，可能上帝给你多过一句的话，要对对方来说的。I'll give you about uh, another 25 seconds. Begin to wrap it up.
然后呢，我们就要结束。All righty. 好，安静。All right. Who thinks this is fun? Raise your hand. 我觉得这这是很不错的，很有趣的，来举手一下。So much fun to hear his voice. All right. Who was encouraged that time? Who got encouraged? 你被领受得到神的话语，得到安慰的，来举手一下。Come on. So many people. That's it. Right there. All right. Last time. 最后一次啊。Because I know some of you are in groups of three. Because I know some of you are in groups of three. Ah, because you know, some of you are in groups of three. So go ahead and choose the third person who hasn't been prophesied over. If you are in groups of three, please choose the third person who hasn't been prophesied over. If you are in groups of three, please choose the third person who hasn't been prophesied over. If you are in groups of three, please choose the third person who hasn't been prophesied over. If you are in groups of three, please choose the third person who hasn't been prophesied over. If you are in groups of three, please choose the third person who hasn't been prophesied over. If you are in groups of three, please choose the third person who hasn't been prophesied over. If you are in groups of three, please choose the third person who hasn't been prophesied over. If you are in groups of three, please choose the third person who hasn't been prophesied over. If you are in groups of three, please choose the third person who hasn't been prophesied over. If you are in groups of three, please choose the third person who hasn't been prophesied over. If you are in groups of three, please choose the third person who hasn't been prophesied over. If you are in groups of three, please choose the third person who hasn't been And I want you to ask um, the Holy Spirit. I want you to ask the Holy Spirit. Jesus, show me a picture of this person. Jesus, give me a picture of this person. That you think about them. Just wait on the Lord. Alrighty, go ahead and share. 好，来分享All right, let's wrap it up. Just a couple seconds more. 结束了，很快要结束了。All righty. I just I want to hear a couple testimonies. 我要听一些的见证。If all right, shh. 啊，请大家安静啊。God is awesome. He's speaking to you guys. 神是非常奇妙的。All right, I just want to hear just just one testimony. If if you if you got really encouraged, um, I want you to come up and bring the person who prophesied over you. Uh, 我们要听一些见证。如果你真的被那些话语很鼓励到你的话，请你上来分享你的见证，把对你发言的人也带上来。Okay, be brave, be brave. 要勇敢点，不要怕。We want to give glory to God. 我们要把荣耀归给神的。And it's going to encourage each other. Okay. 他会也会鼓励很多的人。One person, I want to want one person to share what just happened. 啊，来一个人分享见证就好了。Someone who hasn't shared up front yet. 啊、uh, ，有没有人？刚才他对你分享见证的时候，你感到啊、uh, ，鼓励的 ？Oh, here, yeah, come, come. 来 ，and、oh. and the person who prophesied over you. 也把那个对你发预言的人带上来。Yeah, both of you come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Go ahead. Come up here. Okay, just go ahead and and yep. 是三个人，我对我面对的是他们两兄弟，嗯、呃，他们都是十多岁的孩子。I prophesy、呃、over the two brothers, and they are, they are, uh, in in the teenage. 嗯、呃，呃，我对他们两兄弟的那个要讲的话，他们两兄弟两个的性格都不一样。啊，对。我我对大哥讲的是激励的，呃，我对他里面说你要。呃，要时常的鼓励自己，因为耶稣是爱你超过你自己想象不到他多么的爱你的。啊、uh, ，I told you, I I prophesied to the elder ones and told him that how much God loving is beyond all his imaginations and his own knowledge. 我我说，如果你小时候就很明白，嗯、呃，这个激励，这个激励，这个。动力就会成为以后你的人生一个很大的助力
And, 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 and I told him that if, you, if only you know the love of Jesus, and from this day onward, this love will empower you and move you forward into your future. Ah,对，这是我对大哥的感觉，因为我看到的是字。好。啊，然后他们对我大哥对我说的是呃呃，就是坚持啊，对，坚持。And he prophesied over me to tell me that to to pursue or be persistent. 啊，当然，我这高了这把年纪，我知道这个，因为我我很我每次我我做很多的事情是很没有耐性，所以。uh, because uh, being persistent is my is constantly is my province. Uh, wow. the, the younger brothers prophesy over me and tell me Jesus is it's a sing a song about you? Yeah, sing a song, Jesus Love You. Okay, okay. He sang over you. He sang over you. Okay, wow. Come on. So, so you got a word for him. Persistence. You got the word persistence. And, and how did that, what did that mean to you? Did it impact, was it impactful? Did you? Yeah, it's my problem. Being consistent uh, is his problem. Uh, it's his problem. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 Brother sang over him, yeah. encourage him. Come on, so good. Thank so you, good. Jesus. Thank Come you. on, let's give the Lord a hand. Let's give Come the Lord on. a hand. Uh, so good, so good. Can you see the simplest word can encourage somebody? All right, um, so, man, I want to hear one more testimony. One more. If God gave you a picture for somebody, I want you to come up and share. You and the person you shared it with, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah. Right here. Uh, these, these two, come on, give him a hand. Go ahead, come up front. Okay, here, I'll, I'll uh, okay. So, uh, who, who prophesied, did you, you prophesied and she received? Okay, so go ahead and hold the mic up. Tell us, when you prayed, what was the picture that you saw? Uh, many cars. Many cars. Okay. And and I you, you can speak you can speak in, in, in Chinese. Oh, so 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 Oh, it felt like you felt like God was saying happiness. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. The message, the message is that God wants to restore her family and to restore, uh, to heal the father. Wow. Yeah. And does that make sense to you? Do you is it true? Yes. Encourage you. You encourage you. Yeah. That's powerful. Come on. Okay. Come on. So, uh, so, so is there like hard things in your family going on? She said, uh, uh, it's actually happening now. Wow. The, the family is getting better. Come and on. she saw the vision last night that as the family is an idol worshippers, oh. and she saw the vision that the idol just crumbled down. Come on. Uh, that was what <laughs> she saw yesterday. <laughs> That's amazing. Let's give the Lord a hand for that. Oh, that, is a, that is a powerful word. That's a powerful word. 
God's going to do something in her family. In fact, what, what was, what's her name? What, you, what's your name? Come back up here. We're going to pray for your family right now. You see, that is such a powerful word. So, let's, what's your name? Grace. Grace. All right, everyone just stretch out your hands to Grace. Right now, Father, in Jesus' name, we just bless her. Father, we bless her family. God, we thank you for your word. God, we thank you for your word. Lord, would you topple the idol worship? God, would you restore the hearts of the family? Father, I pray that they would worship Jesus. Lord, would you glorify yourself in their family? And we just bless you to be the joyful girl that the Lord's made you to be. And to bring the light of Jesus into your family. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand. That's amazing. That's so amazing. Come on. So good. You see, when God speaks, it releases faith. Now she knows that God wants to touch her family. Sometimes we're praying and we and we have doubt in our hearts. But then someone walks up to you and say and says, Hey, you've been praying for your family. God hears your prayers, he's gonna move in your family. And you're like, How did you know that? And faith springs up in your heart. That's the importance of prophecy. It's not just a nice gift to make you feel good. It releases faith to bring breakthrough. Alright, so I encourage you, step into a lifestyle of prophecy. Okay, we're going to go out on the streets today. And let me tell you this, it's no, it's no different on the streets than in the church. It's the same thing. You just say, hey, can I pray for you? And, and, they, might, and they say, sure, whatever. Yeah. You say, Jesus, what are you saying about this person? And then you just share it with them. And I guarantee people will be so impacted by the love of God. Okay? Does that make okay. sense? Uh, are you guys ready? Alright, I want to share uh, just a few things about evangelism. Uh, and about just some core values of evangelism. Uh, As you learn to share your faith and the love of Jesus with people outside the church, the most important thing is that you're moved by compassion. Is that you're moved by love. If you're not moved by compassion or love, you're not moved by the Holy Ghost. The Bible says God is love. And so to give people an encounter with God is to give people an encounter with love. It's in, in the Gospels, it says that Jesus was moved with compassion. And he healed many people. And he fed the 5,000. And he raised the dead. So as you go out today, make it your prayer. Father, move me with your compassion. Father, give me eyes of compassion. You see, don't judge people by, by what you see in the natural. By how they look, by how they act. Look at them through what God sees about them. You might confront someone who's not very nice. And they're, they're mean. But you say, Jesus, what do you think about this person? And he'll give you his thoughts for them. And you'll share it with them. And before they were like, then they're like, wow, I've never experienced love. And their heart opens to the gospel. Okay, so compassion. 
It's about compassion. It's like a river that flows from inside of you. And all of you have compassion. Because you have Jesus inside of you. That's good news. I just want to share a story with you. I was in, in Redding, California. And I was with my friend. His name's Dennis. I said, Dennis, let's go, let's go love some people tonight. So we go downtown Redding. And now Dennis had written down a few words of knowledge. That God had given him. He wrote down um, green sweatshirt. Uh, uh, neck pain uh, and the name of a guy I can't remember the name let's just say Stephen uh, let's just say his name Stephen uh, um, Stephen so uh, we go by Taco Bell we're in Taco Bell you know Taco Bell? Taco Bell? no Taco Bell and I, <laughs> that's good uh, we go by a restaurant. Uh, There's no Taco Bell in, in Malaysia. Praise uh, God. Uh, <laughs> it's not good. Uh, it's it's gross. Gross. So uh, we see this girl getting into her car. And it's late at night. It's late at night. It's, it's late. Uh, and, um, and she's got a green hoodie. She's got a green, sorry, sweatshirt. Green sweatshirt. Green sweatshirt. And we're like... That must be her. And it was kind of awkward because it's two guys, it's late at night, and it's just, she's alone. But we were moved by compassion. We said, this has got to be her. And we know that we're pure. So, so we approached her and said, hey, excuse me. We, uh, we were praying and we got these words of knowledge. We say, Jesus loves you. And she starts talking and she's like, you know, I've had many people pray for me. And I've had people share with me about Jesus. And I think it's cool, but I think it's just energy. I don't really believe. It's just nice energy. As she's talking, I'm listening to the Holy Spirit. And I said, you've got, you've got scoliosis. It's twisted spine. At, at, uh, twisted spine. Okay. And your mom has it too. And uh, you've had it for many years, since you were born, in fact. And she's like, yes, I do. So I began to pray for her. And the love and the power of God came on her. And she begins to get healed. But she was kind of stubborn. Yeah, she was like, she was like, you know, that's cool, but I just believe it's like natural energy. And I'm just like, God, that doesn't make any sense. She's getting healed. Why is she thinking this way? And then the Lord spoke to me. He said, when you were eight years old, your dad came back into your life, and that was a bad thing. He actually hurt you and abused you. And she's like, how did you know that? And I said, Jesus loves you so much, he's telling me about your life. He wants you to know what your dad did to you was not good, and he wants to heal you. And then, and then my friend shares with him and, and asks her, does the name Stephen mean anything to you? And she's like, how did you know that? I, I think it was her boyfriend, I think she just broke up with him. And she's just getting rocked by God, just boom, boom, words of knowledge. By that point, I think we had six or seven words of knowledge, just boom, 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 boom. And she, but there's still this unbelief in her heart. But I'm telling you, I, it, like, it didn't phase me for one second because I felt the compassion like a river just flowing for her. And I said, God, you see, I kept in, in communication with the Holy Spirit. I said, God, why is she not responding? And he showed me. And I told her. And I said, 
我说 ，The reason you're not responding to us right now is because you used to be in church when you were around 16 or 17 years old, and you were hurt by the church. 呃、uh, ，你现在为什么对这些东西没有任何的反应？是因为你在十六、十七岁的时候，你也去到教会，但是你在教会里面受到伤害。They judged you and they kind of put you as an outcast, and that、uh, hurt you. 他们批判你，然后他们把你给啊、uh, 放到教会以外去。And she's like, you know everything about me. 他说：“你好像知道我生命当中一切所有的东西啊。”And I said, "This is the love of Jesus." 我说：“这就是耶稣的爱。” I said, "You need to give your, you need to rededicate your heart to Jesus because He loves you so much." 我就跟他说：“你必须把你的心重新的放回到耶稣的面前，因为他非常的爱你。”So we, I, we prayed for her. 我们为他祷告。And、the love of God came on her. 神的爱就临到他的身上。And she didn't want to give her heart to Jesus in that moment. 啊、uh, ，当时候他当下他不想把心啊、uh, 重新交给神。She could not deny the power of God. By the time we were done, we counted. We had nine words of knowledge for her. We had nine words of knowledge for her. Ah, we 们对她有说出九句这个知识的言语 And um, and it all flowed from this place of compassion. 这就是从我们怜悯的里面这个怜悯的心而来的 You see, she, no one can walk away from that unchanged. 你知道吗？如果如啊，她如果没有经历这些，她这生命就不会改变。I guarantee there's one one day she's going to give her heart back to Jesus. 我们相信有一天她一定把她的心重新的奉献给神。Isn't that powerful? 这是不是很有能力 ？It's amazing. Amen. I see that this is this has become part of my life. It's part of who I am. 这就是我的生命，发源就是我生命的一部分。I'm just constantly listening to God for other people. 我就是一直在听见神。Uh, 要听见神对某一个人所说的话。And I'm telling you, friends. 我告诉你，朋友们。There's so many people that are looking for love in Cebu. 在苏屋有很多人在寻找爱。There's so many people that are broken in Cebu. 有很多人在苏屋这一些人的身上有很破碎的心。They've never experienced the love of God. 他们曾从不曾经历耶稣的爱。They've never heard His voice. 他们从不曾听见神的声音。And Jesus is asking you a question. 神今天在问我们一个问题。Will you go? Will you share His love? You 愿意把神的爱给分享出来吗 ？Will you love His children? 你愿不愿意爱他的孩子呢 ？Not just today. 不是只有今天 ，but as a lifestyle. 是成为一个生活方式。As the Lord loves you, will you love your neighbor? 当神爱你的时候，你也能不能够爱你身边周遭环境的人呢 ？Will you say yes to the call of sharing the gospel? 你愿不愿意说是的，主，我愿意分享你的福音。Because I'm telling you, if you only experience God in church, your fire will die. If the fire that is poured out here doesn't go out, it will dry up. It will go out. It's the purpose of revival. The purpose of this here. In this place, the purpose of this here. Is to transform the world out there. 就是要来转变在外面的世界。I want to share another testimony with you. 我要跟你分享另外一个见证。Got about five more minutes. 再多五分钟。I was in Redding, California. 我在 Redding 这个加州这个地方。And I had just spent about an hour and a half sharing the gospel with people. 我才刚刚分享一个小时半，跟人家分享福音。But I was so hungry for Jesus. I said, God, I want more. 啊，我跟神说，我很渴望，我要更多更多分享。I said, Jesus, I love you. 我说，耶稣，我爱你。Like, what do you want to do? And I saw a picture of a bus stop downtown Reading. Ah, 只有一个图画浮现在我的脑海里面。But I felt I just felt like I didn't need to go there right then. I was going to go a little bit later. There's no pressure. Ah, there's there's no pressure to go right then. Ah, ah, he went to bus stop. Then he went to downtown. Then he said, "I, I, actually, I don't want to go." So about two hours later, I end up at the bus stop. Eight o'clock p.m. Ah, in 8 o'clock at night. And I'm just me by myself. But I knew I had seen it in my, just like I showed you, I'd seen that picture in my mind. And I get there, and there's no one at the bus stop. And I look around, and I see someone across the street, so I go and I talk to them. But they didn't want to talk to me. So, but I'm just like God. You sent me here. You sent me here. 我说主啊，你把我带到这个地方。So I turn back and I see two people in the bus stop. 我就转回去的时候呢，我看见有两个人在巴士亭。And I can tell that they're that they're homeless. 啊，那些是流浪的人，没有家的。They got two dogs and backpacks and um and they're they're just kind of a little bit dirty. 
And I said, these are the only people that hear. I'm going to talk to them. So I said, hey, guys, um, I just believe Jesus sent me here. He wants you to know he loves you. And they began to share me their story, share with me their story. They said, we've been, we've been meth addicts, you know, meth, drugs. Drug addicts for uh, okay. uh, many years. We have been But recently, we've rededicated our lives to Jesus and are two months clean off meth. I think three months clean off meth, actually. Okay. And we left, we left our old town and walked two hours uh, uh, and walked many days to Reading. Uh, they, they were from a, a town two hours uh, away uh, by car and they walked the whole way. And they were homeless, but they were tr they were trying as hard as they could to get their life together. I'm telling you, as they're talking, it was like Jesus came and stood next to me. It's like when they were talking. It was like Jesus came and stood next to me. Uh, Faith and compassion met in that moment. And I was, I was like this power came on me. And I said, Jesus sent me here for you. I said, he wants you to know he's thinking about you and he cares about you. He sees your pain, he sees your story. And I said, and I said, it's, I said, we're going to get this thing on. You're going to get healed right now. And I said, uh, do you have pain in your body? Now the man had many things wrong with him. His shoulders were messed up. His shoulders were messed up, were damaged. He couldn't lift his arms like this. He couldn't move them normally. His, his lower back, he had pinched nerve, which sent pain down his legs. Uh, and uh, so I began to pray for him. And instantly the power of God came on him. Heat filled him. And he just began to weep and cry. As God completely healed him. He starts moving around his arms. No pain. He starts bending over. No pain. His leg, his leg, which was shorter than the other, grew out. And then I turned to his wife. She had poison. She had poison oak. Po um, sorry, she had um, she, like a poison ivy. Um, poison oak. Like she had touched a plant and it gave rash all over her body. Rash. It's extremely itchy and very irritating. But I grabbed her hand and prayed. Fire went through her body. All the itchiness left. She's just crying and crying. Come on. And then I said, then God showed me, you have a son who's in his 20s and you've been praying for him. And they said, yes, he's also addicted to drugs. We've been praying for him. I said, God hears your prayers. He's going to touch your son. And then I said, you guys need to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Now they believed in Jesus. They, they had a faith in him. But they just needed to know he was listening, to know that he was there. So I, I grabbed their hands and I prayed for the baptism in the Holy Spirit. the Holy Ghost. They felt the gift of tongues rise up and they spoke in tongues. Right there in the bus stop. And they're just weeping and crying. And I'm just like, I feel so strong. <laughs> I'm just like flying in the clouds with Jesus. And I'm telling you, I felt such a love for them. Because I knew God had sent me there for them. And uh, they were just, they, they were so blessed. And I walked away from that. And I realized something so powerful. I said, God, you trust me. 
你相信我 ，You trust me with your children. 你相信我，成为你的孩子。He said, "I said, God, I, I was hungry for you. 神啊，我渴慕你 ，and to obey you, 顺服你。You could have spoken to anybody and sent them to the bus stop. 啊，甚至我也啊，可以在这巴士亭对人来说话。You see in Redding, California, 在加州这个地方 ，There's Bethel Church. There's Bethel Church. Bethel Church. 啊，伯特利教会。There's many Many anointed men and women of God. But in that moment, God chose me. And I was so rocked by that. I was so impacted by that. I said, God, God, you trust me. He said, You're my son. Of course I trust you. And what I want to let you guys know is God wants to use you. He trusts you. He's proud of you. He will make you feel proud. And the only condition is that you're willing. Ah, only the condition is that you're willing. All right. And I tell you, as you love other people, I want to tell you, when we love other people, it's also you also experience a deeper relationship with Him. We 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 also experience a deeper relationship with Let's 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 commit today to not just going out one time. Today, we commit to not just going out one time. Today, we commit to not just going out one time. Today, we commit to not just going out one time. Today, we commit to not just going out one time. Today, we commit to not just going out one time. Today, we commit to not just going out one time. Today, we commit to not just going out one time. Today, we commit to not just going out one time. Today, we commit to not just going out one time. Today, we commit to not just going out one time. Today, we commit to not just going out one time. Today, we commit to not just going out one time. Today, we commit to not just going out one time. Today, we commit to not just going out one time. Today, we commit to not just going out one time. Today, we commit to not just going out one time. Today, we commit to not just going out one time. Today, we commit to not just going out one time. Today, we commit to not just going out one time. Today, we commit to not just going out one time. Today, we commit to not just going out one time. Today, we commit to not just going out one time. Today, we commit to not just going out one time. Father, I thank you for your children. God, you said that when we ask for a bread, for bread, that you wouldn't give us a stone or a snake. So, Father, we ask that you lead us today. Father, we ask that you bring us to the broken. And we thank you for the gift of compassion. And for the gift of the Holy Spirit moving through us. And Father, right now, I release over your people the breakthrough in the gift of the word of knowledge that you've given to me. I pray that for the same measure to be put upon these people now. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, touch him now. Holy Spirit, just touch him now. I pray for that impartation. The gift of the word of knowledge. And I just speak to your spirits. And I say, compassion arise. Compassion arise. Compassion arise. Let it flow like a river. 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 Just thirty seconds. Come on, let's pray in the spirit. Just thirty seconds. Shundara ba, shundara ba, kandara ba, shundara ba, rabo shundara ba, sundara ba, shundara ba, sundara ba, kandara ba, rabo shundara ba, sundara ba, kandara ba, sundara ba. We bless you, Jesus. Shundara ba, Father, just let it come, let it come, let it come, let it come. Shundara ba, sundara ba, kandara ba, sundara ba, shundara ba, rabo shundara ba, sundara ba, ye rabo shundara ba, shundara ba, kandara ye rabo. I bless you. Bless you in Jesus' mighty name. 奉耶稣的名祝福大家，奉耶稣的名祷告。Amen.